after a while, shit just keep clicking. You know when you in a poverty stage, mm -hmm. every time you get money, shit keep disappearing. Mm -hmm. You're like, yo, every time I get, oh yeah, I got Something five stacks. Up, yeah. Shit working out. Sister need bread. Mm -hmm. Fucking light. Mm -hmm. Shut, light bill back. Credit card, I was gonna put this on. And before you know it, you thought you were gonna have that money for two, three months, that shit gone in the first week. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that shit is like that with poverty. But guess what? I can tell people it's like that with success. It come a time, you just be thinking, let me try this. It just works so quick. You just gotta get into the momentum of success. But that's what I mean by you have to cut off dead weight, bro. You gotta stop being around people who don't see the vision. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's and right. then people that understand and see the vision, but they scared to invest in it or work with you mm -hmm. and grind to get there, mm -hmm. lose sleep, abstain from sex. Mm -hmm. I know I have less sex than the average man who's single and I'm polygynous. You feel me? I know I do. Now I have my 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 moments where I'm yeah. just spazzing. Like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga shit can't even lift up no more. I'm like, fuck, I gotta hide from these girls. You know what I mean? That happens. You know what I'm saying? I try to get out of that situation because it's tantalizing. But even the best nigga, you keep going in, you know, you be just trying to talk to your joint like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I can't be doing this shit three, four times a day. I'm getting older, you know what I'm saying? I'm That's using my right. saving products. <laughs> shit ain't working, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, uh, you can OD, you know, doing this shit three, four, five times a day and got different women accessible to you. You don't want to fuck up your weeks like that, you know, and then that's creativity you're giving away. So you got to be real scientific about when you ejaculate or when you ejaculate, mm. you know what I'm saying? So when you take all that, I wrote a book about it, Resurrection or Reserve Erection, and then you also got open heart surgery. Those are real good books, right, that talk about sex and how to make things manifest using the woman to bring it into this world. No spooky shit. It could probably be wrong. I believe it's true. And it, I see man, I see things working every time I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, it's right in my world. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> but it could be wrong. You know, I can tell you that. It I'm just, that's real. But it's working for me. So it's right in my paradigm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think of it. I tell the woman, cooperate. Mantra, mantra it up. Keep, keep chanting the same goal over and over. And at the point of an orgasm, we bringing it to fruition. You feel me? And it be working over and over, bro. I'm telling you. I'm on some other stuff with the way I be generating my success. But if I tell people it, they like, oh, you don't want to tell me the real secrets. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. what happens when you don't have the resources yet? You got to use the sexual energy to get you there. You feel me? Like the sexual energy is a catalyst. Mm -hmm. Your biggest resource is your mind mm -hmm. and your sexual force. You have that. No one, you don't have to buy it from over the counter. You feel me? Like you actually got your greatest resources to become wealthy. You have it. All you need is a vision, focus, don't take your mind off it. When I got a goal that I'm on, I be pacing in the house. My wives don't know. They're like, oh, you got a plan. And I cannot shake it. I, I, it's hard to sleep because I just know it's so real. I keep seeing it. I got to keep working on it. I go to sleep with the purpose of dreaming about it. And I'm orchestrating the way it's supposed to work. And I think about it so much over and over and over. It's like an objective focus. Like if I say think apple, you close your eyes, you think apple. Mm -hmm. And then I say think about how the apple tastes. Bite it. What color is the apple? Red. How red is the apple? If you keep going over and over and over, there's a point where enzymes will start secreting in your mouth. And you, your taste buds, your salivary al alimates will start being secreted. And you'll start really feeling this apple. You actually will taste the apple. You come out that motherfucker, you want the apple. I'm about to go in the store. Let me get an apple. Suddenly, mm -hmm. you got a craving for it. Same thing with anything you visualize success-wise. Mm -hmm. If you can capture that thought and you can keep it consistent and then you do this. You're having sex with a woman, right? And you're saying this. Every time I want to bring about that success, I'm going to focus on that during the course of sex. That's tricky because at the point of the orgasm, you have a tendency to go blank. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. You'll be thinking about the thought, like, yo, I know, brother. Like, so keep, keep thinking about it, keep thinking about it. Then that shit get crazy. She back that shit up on you. She start wilding out, twerking with your shit in it. And you start forgetting <laughs> what the fuck you was thinking about. So you in the sister, and you thinking about what you want to make manifest. You got to hold on to that thought. What's going to happen is a number of things. We could talk about the metaphysical part, right? But let's talk about this part right here that's real deep. What's going to happen, this is called emotional transmutation. If every time you have sex, 
when you think about that project that you want to see through. Let's say I just need a book done. Mm -hmm. And every time I have sex, I'm like, yo, I need this book to be done by this date. I need the book to be done. I don't want to get tired when I'm writing a book. It may take long hours. I may have to do research. So you say to yourself this, I'm going to have sex. Every time I have sex, I'm going to think about this project and how it needs to be done. Look what's going to happen now. Eventually, you don't need the sex. Eventually, the book becomes the ecstasy. The completion of the book is actually going to be the orgasm. If every time you think about getting the book done, you're having sex, the energies merge. And now you get the same fulfillment when you're actually writing the book. And now you'll stay up longer to finish the book because you're trying to achieve the orgasm, which is the completion of the book. It's called the doctrine of emotional transmutation. You think about it while you're having sex and that ecstasy, that, that arousal, that excitement, okay, that comes from ejaculating or from her going through her orgasms. The emotions start merging in and then your goal becomes synonymous with that. So now your work ethic changes because your work ethic becomes sex. So this is why we say uh, with the man, he's the activator and the woman is the motivator. Mm -hmm. You feel me when it comes to sex? It actually happened. Like I had a real bad anger issue. So I started taking time out to study language whenever I was angry. This is emotional transmutation. Mm. Every time I'm angry, I start studying language. The language takes me away from the anger after a while because I have to pay attention because I'm like, damn, I don't get it. Uh, I got to really, it's not working. And I do the language until I finally make the anger subside. What eventually happens is this subconsciously. All of a sudden, I don't even know when I'm angry. I just get the urge to do the language. That's crazy. Mm. I don't even know I'm angry. It's just what's going on right now. We do it inadvertently. Some people clean up when they're upset, but they don't know why. I'm talking about reprogramming yourself. So transmuting the energy of anger into linguistics to the point that you get the urge to do language because you're angry, but you don't realize you're angry. You don't realize the whole reason why you want to do the language because something's bothering you. Well, you just progressively applied magic called emotional transmutation. You feel me? So this is what you want to do with sexual energy. You want to convert the sexual energy into the product you want to manifest and then eventually you stop being so overzealous for sex because now the project becomes your sex. That's how you shift the energy and the thought. But you got to be thinking about that when you're having the sex and do it all the time. Then now you don't even need the sex all the time because the work ethic becomes the sex because you're pushing to see the goal come through. So you'd be like this. Oh, man, that feeling you get when you finally finish that project. That's so real. It's real, bro. Yeah, so, you so know. Real, cause I saw that.